Hello guys, welcome to this channel. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you on how to create a customized auto increment, auto numbering, sequential numbering, or whatsoever. Basta what I want to say is like this. The auto numbering of Microsoft Access, as you can see, is I. So this stands for sales invoice, followed by the uh, year, and then month, and then the auto numbering of Microsoft Access. So another sample like that one. When we input uh, this one, so 66, and then we proceed to another record, 67. So how to do this? If you are still interested, watch this video until the end and please don't forget to subscribe. First, let us create a table. Like for example, is transaction number. Sales invoice number, transaction date, product, that's it. This is auto number. It's the primary key. This is a number only or a text. Okay, that one text. And then there's a first option, guys. A simple way of making an auto increment. As you can see in the format, we can put like this, is I, for sales invoice, and then followed by the number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that one, okay, let us try to check, sales, for example, 1, 2, 3, so as you can see guys, is I zero 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 one zero 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 two? So that's the first option. So now let's proceed to the second option, the one that I've shown you in the in my intro. Let's close this. Let us create a form by this. Okay, that one. okay now let's go to the design view and then let us right click this one and then let us go to properties and then guys on the event let's find the before insert okay this one before inserting a record code builder and here we go so this is just a simple um bba code guys don't worry about this so this is the sales invoice number we use that one so me that is i number that one is equals to format first of all date and the ma uh, year so for the for y stands for year and in close parenthesis and let's put that one the hyphen and the next is the month so format again date and then it spot mm or month and then in close parenthesis again then and so this time the auto numbering of microsoft access we will add the formula which is the or the function which is the dmax or the maximum or the highest um, number highest value dmax so one so transaction number that's a string okay the spelling is check and the domain the cells this one and enclose 
then plus 1 okay let us check guys if it is work get one so transaction date is 11 oh invalid use of null what's the error me that is a number equals format and that one, let's put okay, that one, something it's okay, something it's work, sometimes it will not work, okay. So, okay guys, it works. Next, 114. So, let us add some uh, details. Let me example this one. Let's put is I or sales invoice and that one. And here, let us format. Okay, comma, one, two, three, four. Okay, that's it. Let's check. When we type, okay, guys, as you can see, oh, 11.005, let us check. Format, uh, we can put that one, okay. Twelve, okay, this is, guys, this is it. And the next page, okay. So this is pretty simple, guys. I hope you learn a lot from this video and if you are new to this channel and wants to learn more about Microsoft Access, please consider subscribing this channel for more informative videos. Once again, thank you and see you to my next video.